Hello everybody, Lurgs here, welcome to my channel and today it's the candy washing machine detergent drawer and what goes in what compartments. This is a candy washing machine and tumble dryer, but it's the same for a normal candy washing machine. If you use these pods which go straight into the washing machine drum, then you don't need to watch this video. It's a good idea to clean out your pump filter every three to six months and that will prevent any E03 errors. And there's a link above now about how to do that. This is the candy washing machine here and this model is the Elise model or Elise. Let's just open the detergent drawer here. You can see you've got symbols inside the tray and also on the outside of the washing machine here. So let's just run through these and what they're for. This is compartment number two. This is for your main washing detergent. This can either be washing machine powder or liquid detergent. Now, depending on the size of your laundry or how soiled it is, depends on how much liquid you actually put in here. But generally, it's between 30 to 70 milliliters. Now you can measure this out in a measuring cup or sometimes the cap on the liquid detergent bottle is a measuring device. This is the middle compartment. This is for any fabric softener, any special additives, fragrances, starch, or brighteners. Now if you put anything into here, especially fabric softener, make sure you don't go above the maximum mark, otherwise it will overspill and get into your main wash. Only ever put liquids into this compartment and the washing machine will automatically take up any liquids in here during the final rinse stage on a washing cycle. And this is compartment number one, which is for any pre-wash. Now, if your washing machine has got a pre-wash function, it will use this to clean any extra stained laundry. This is really for any treatment of any stains prior to the main wash. If you put anything into here, it means the main washing program can be at a lower temperature with any bleach-free detergents. If you're consistently running lots of washing programs at lower temperatures, it is definitely worth running a hygienically fresh washing program. And there's a link above now about how to do that. That will keep your washing machine hygienically fresh and kill off any bacteria. And I'll tell you what, that definitely deserves a lovely cup of tea. If you found that video useful, please subscribe by pressing this button down here so you don't miss more videos on how to save you time and money. There's also some other videos around the edges of the screen here. If any of those are useful to you, then you can select those now. Thank you for visiting my channel, everyone. I really, really appreciate it.